Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. We are officially on our last leg of our trip here in Mallorca. We did Soyer, Dea, Valdemosa. We just left Calador and now we are in Palma. And we're starting off the day by going on a boat trip. I am so freaking excited about this. I'll make sure to link it in the description box, especially if I recommend it. And I'll let you guys know if I recommend it after today. But I am so excited to see like what the water looks like in this area because this is more in, what is it? The west north-ish area and we were just around the south of the island where they say the water is like the most beautiful so i really wonder if it's like kind of similar or if it's actually the most beautiful down south this boat has like tapas and drinks they sent a full drink menu like even frozen cocktail i was thinking to myself what boat has like a frozen drink machine so i'm very intrigued but i believe that it's not more than like 12 people it's like 10 to 12 people in this boat so that's good because originally i was gonna book a catamaran and then i read the reviews and it was saying that there was just so many people they just like packed so many people on the boat and it just wasn't very enjoyable so just make sure to read reviews especially when you're doing these kinds of tours we made it to our destination it's so pretty and it feels so good out here i think it's hotter in this area than calador yeah, I think it's like 91 today, which I feel like it was in the 80s in Calador. But I'm gonna take some photos before I get in the water and then we're going to swim our little hearts out. Made it to the final hotel of the trip. Well, technically, we're going back to Barcelona for like a night just because we have to fly out of there. This hotel is fairly brand new. It's called Zell Mallorca. Let me show you guys around. To start, we have all of this storage right here. Just so many cubbies, which is so nice because now we don't have to have our suitcases just like laying around. I'll probably unpack, honestly. I just like to do that. But here's the bathroom area. I'm obsessed with the design of this hotel. I feel like it's straight out of my Pinterest board. It's very like coastal, but also very like today's trends with the arch near and the beautiful tile behind it. And coming over here, there's a ladder with some beach towels on it. A full length mirror, which I obviously appreciate. Thank you for whoever put this in here because a lot of hotels do not have a full length mirror, which I feel like that should definitely be a requirement look at the bed over here it just looks so comfy and just coastal and beautiful there's also a day bed right here i believe that's a mini bar right in there and then this is our tv it's nice that they have a desk here because ryan actually has to start working tomorrow's monday so he is gonna have to start working right at three and then let me show you guys the best part We didn't end up swimming after the boat today, but the boat was really fun. I slept a lot because I was just like baking in the sun, but we got in, it was like not too cold. They did only take us to one spot. I would have liked to see like maybe one other spot, but they gave us food and you could purchase like cocktails on the boat or you could get drink packages, which I feel like the drink packages were kind of a lot and I wasn't gonna drink that much. I was not trying to get trash. So I had two Hugo spritzes and they were delicious. But here's the outfit of the night. I think this might be my favorite outfit of this whole vacation. I feel like I could have done better on the shoes, but we've been traveling for two weeks and I don't bring that many shoe options. So we're just gonna roll with my Amazon Hermes dupes, which are super freaking comfortable by the way. Um, I rented this little cover up on Newly and I'm just wearing like a black swimsuit that is currently still wet from yesterday. But we're gonna go head to dinner. The dinner place is at this marina and it has a really, really nice view. So let's hope we get a good seat. reservation like a couple hours ago and I thought it would be like busy but it's not so good for us because we got like such a nice table we're looking over like a marina and it's so beautiful my glowing boyfriend 
We got sea bass carpaccio, beef tartare, this come on, right? Or, seven J's. Is it really? No, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, is Iberico ham the same it's thing the same. as hamon? Yeah. Okay. And then they gave us tomato bread because it came with tomato those bread apps. Good yeah, it does Usually look good. Usually just like sauce, like smeared on the corn. Yeah, it kind of varies. Like some people put like a lot of tomato and then some people just like barely touch it with like tomato. Uh, thought of a but... tomato while they were touching it. What? They like thought of a tomato while they were touching <laughs> <laughs> But it all looks really, really good. For our entree, we got the octopus, and we're gonna share this, and I think there's potatoes right under it. It looks so freaking good. I've literally been dying for a creme brulee for some reason, and I finally found it on a menu. Spain was playing England in, I guess, the Euro Cup or something, final, and they just won. Everyone's going crazy. Can you hear the horns everyone's hearing? Can you imagine, like, Barcelona right now? The next morning, we went straight to the cafe downstairs. Ryan got his coffee. You do have to pay for this, but the breakfast is included, and it's an insane buffet. Pastries, fresh juices. I, of course, wanted to try a little bit of everything. I didn't vlog a ton this day because I wanted to relax, but I did want to show you guys the beach access that was right in front of the hotel. Every day, we just got pool chairs and then left our stuff there and just walked over to the beach. There are chairs on the beach, but it's totally separate from the hotel, so you would have to pay for those. We went in July, and the water was was still a little bit chilly but nothing you couldn't handle it was pretty refreshing we didn't have a ton of time to go into the city for dinner since ryan had some work calls but we got some sushi i don't think i would like really recommend this place but it was good good morning it is officially our last day in mallorca which is so sad we leave tomorrow to go to barcelona and then the next day we're headed back to austin yesterday we went into the ocean just right in front of our hotel and this is definitely by far the least clear water like there was just stuff in the water but it's still blue and still really nice but i will say i don't think these beaches compare to the ones that we saw in calador i feel like we've explored so many beaches that i just want to relax at this hotel so that's what we did yesterday and that's what we're probably going to be doing today also ryan started back at work this week so basically we have to be like done with our day at 3 p.m because that's when he has his first call and then we could like break for dinner tonight we actually have dinner reservations pretty late like around 9 30 so we might eat lunch at the hotel like their menu actually looks pretty good it's like a mediterranean menu i've been the annoying girl that saves seats at the pool because i feel like everyone else is doing it right when i woke up i came downstairs got our seats and then we headed to breakfast and the breakfast here is actually really good especially compared to the hotel that we were staying at in calador that was definitely more all-inclusive vibe but this breakfast buffet at Sal Mallorca is still included in your stay, but just a lot higher quality of food. I believe it's hotter where we are now compared to Calador, which is interesting because Calador is like more south, so you would think that would be hotter, but here is definitely a little bit hotter and that's fine with me because we're not doing a lot of walking, we're not doing a lot of exploring. So all I have to worry about is sitting our butts in our pool chair and getting in the water which is really nice also i've seen a lot of hotels even the last hotel that we were at they have chairs on the beach but they're never the hotel's chairs i think it's like a separate company that you can rent them out i didn't end up like checking how much they were for either of the hotels especially because we have the pool chairs like right in front of the beach here that is something to note because whenever i saw them i was like oh perfect we can just you know grab a chair at the beach because it's from the hotel but it's not almost 10 o'clock and I had made a reservation at 9 30 so I thought but I never really got a confirmation like I was checking my email maybe even like whatsapp if they contacted me there but I didn't see anything so I'm confused but anyways it was fine because Ryan's call ran literally 30 minutes over and I don't think I got charged because again I didn't really receive a confirmation but we are driving 20 minutes into like the city I don't really get the area that we're in I think we're in Palma Nova but we're not close to a lot of like the restaurants. Oh my gosh. 
but I really do like our hotel, so it's definitely worth the drive. This is the first time I curled my hair this whole trip. I forgot I even packed like my little curler attachment. I brought my air styler, my Bondi Boost air styler, and I'm a little nervous to use that here because I love that tool and I don't want it to break and like blow up or what is it called? Like the fuse blowing? But I did try this like Amazon heat brush slash like curler thing. That's what I've been using, but it only goes up to like 230 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than enough to like curl my hair and style it. But at home, I put it up to like 350 or even more. So now when I go home, I'm definitely going to lower the temperature because now I know I don't need to be frying my hair off to actually style it. The one important thing that I forgot to bring here was our fire stick. I try to pack this every single time I travel and I was so sad I didn't have my fire stick. It's really this thing where you plug it into the HDMI port and you can make any TV a smart TV and I have been deprived because Bachelorette has started. They've already come out with two episodes and I'm very behind, I haven't watched anything and I'm trying to like not read any spoilers. I kind of thought these newer hotels would have a smart TV, but they don't. Look at how everyone is parking on the sidewalk because these streets are so damn narrow and people are parking on both sides of the streets. So crazy. The lighting is terrifying right now, but we're gonna try to get some pasta at this place called Ricky Tell. We drove by and I think I saw a line, so we're hoping we can get in, but we'll see. 